respond now to that military blimp that broke loose in Maryland, floated through the Northeast for several hours, captivating so much of the country, drawing an escort of fighter jets before it finally went down in Pennsylvania. ABC's Lindsay Davis is there with our story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. Not since the balloon boy hoax a few years ago has this country been so fixated with a helium balloon floating away. But this was no hoax. The military is now guarding the road to where this blimp landed. This morning, authorities are investigating just how this happened. Oh, my God, it's going down. A $175 million top secret military surveillance blimp tearing away from its post, free floating for hours, crossing state lines, and sending F 16 fighter jets scrambling after it. Yeah, and it knocked down our power at school and it knocked down all Columbia's power. It all started around 12 20 Wednesday afternoon. 240 foot unmanned balloon, nearly the length of a football field, drifting away from its military base in Aberdeen, Maryland, at about 50 miles per hour, reaching as high as 16,000 feet in the air, dragging a 6,600 foot metal cable behind it, triggering blackouts, knocking out power lines, leaving about 30,000 customers without power. Right south for us at Fowlersville and 47. So you lost power out there also. Round 11 is dead. The blimp, which can't be steered remotely, making its way to Pennsylvania, crossing over neighborhoods, cornfields, and schools. We were just like, holy cow, because that thing is enormous. Part of a nearly $3 billion program, this blimp, equipped with high-tech radars and early warning systems, is part of a testing system to defend the nation's capital against airborne attacks, able to search an area the size of Texas looking for incoming missiles and aircraft. It's a very sophisticated military technology, very classified. It's the best capability in the world. It is so sensitive that they don't want anybody who shouldn't see it to see it. Finally, nearly four hours later, the blimp came to rest here in Moreland Township, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, snagged in these trees, deflating on its own. After a roughly 160 mile journey, it had finally lost its steam. It's still not clear yet just how this blimp became detached. People with knowledge on the subject say it likely had a lot to do with the windy weather. It's expected to be removed later on today. George? Hope they can salvage some of it. Okay, Lindsay, thanks very much.